Wait, what are you doing? He- Excuse me, sir. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Boost to the Top VGC 2021. In this episode, I'll be continuing to use the team from last episode, which included Engalarian Articuno, which seemed just really, really cool, and I want to try it out. This time, I want to try to get some more wins with uh, Thunderous Therian form, because it's a Pokemon you don't see too often, and it's a really nice uh, check to Regieleki in the way that it's able to switch in on it and just hard wallet with Volt Absorb. So yeah, if you guys enjoy the same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications, because I'm bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 content, and we're so close to 20,000 subscribers, I can pretty much taste it. So any support on that is appreciated. Speaking of support, check out the link in the description down below to donate to the Tiltify campaign, where me and a whole bunch of other VGC content creators are raising money for Checkpoint, a charity for mental health awareness. Tomorrow is the tournament where, at 5 p.m. CST, we'll be using custom VGC rules, so that's going to be a really nice time. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Last episode, I lost the first battle really, really badly, and then won the next two, but I don't know. I want to... <laughs> I want to try to redeem myself with this team and not just absolutely throw to Glacier by Dynamaxing the Thunderous when I really shouldn't. So let's try our best here. I I was actually uh, looking through the comments the other day. I asked you guys, well, actually, I guess before I talk about that, comment question of the day, what do you think is the best ice type? Like, just besides Glacier, best ice type. Because I know Glacier is pretty much objectively it, but I feel like ice types are pretty overlooked in the current format um, with you know, access to freeze-dry. Some ice types could be really, really useful, but it's pretty much all Glacier at the moment. But yeah, also, what I was saying is I, I have already started team building around Mr. Rhyme, which is something you guys suggested yesterday. As for the team that we're looking at here, um, looks like straight up hyper offense. No trick room option, except for possibly the Nihiligo, but I don't think they're carrying it on this one. Uh, I think what I want to do here is lead off Thunderous plus Screens. And, or not Thunderous plus Screens, it's Thunderous plus Tailwind. Uh, in the back, it looks like Landris is pretty good, and I think my last Pokemon is... It's between Metagross and Galarian Articuno. I think Metagross is probably the best option, however, Galarian Articuno um, could help me out with um, the grass types on their side of the field, as well as that uh, Cinderace to an extent, but it's probably going to be Metagross is the better option. I definitely don't want to bring Tapu Fini to this matchup, since they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 things that hit it for super effective damage, depending on coverage. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's gonna be scary. Okay. Let's see what they lead off with. Whimsicott and Spectre. So it looks like they're just gonna go straight up Tailwind here. And unfortunately, I am also going Tailwind. Um, I, I feel as though since they're going to Tailwind, I don't think they're going to go for Fake Tears. I think they have to Tailwind to match mine. What I'm going to try to do is just one-shot their Spectrier by going for Fake Tears immediately. That might be the play here. I'll also get the Tailwind up second, which is really useful. As they do Dynamax. Uh, if they don't Fake Tears me, which they really shouldn't, they should definitely Tailwind. Um, I, I think I should be able to one-shot. Okay, here's my Dynamax. Hopefully they don't fake tears. I think they're going to Tailwind. There it is. Okay, so I should live the hit from Spectre. It doesn't have anything to really, really hurt me. There's my fake tears, gonna make this quad effective essentially. And coming off of this guy, it's gonna hurt pretty bad. Max Phantasm. Okay, we survived that. And hopefully I'll get it in range of a simple Moonblast, because that means I can protect and uh, KO it. It's likely sashed. Oh no, it's not. It is. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I saw the life orb. Did I? I wasn't paying attention because I'm bad at this game. I looked away for a second because I got a text. But we do manage to pick up that KO, and we also have a Tailwind coming up next turn, so that's going to be really useful. 
I do have to be really careful, though. Uh, if there's a Cinderace in the back, it has potential to revenge KO me. Nihiligo. Okay, that is also an issue, since it's naturally faster. Hmm. What's my play here? I could go Metagross and just hardwall him out. I don't want Nihiligo to get a Beast Boost, so I think I'll just do that. Or even a, even a Landorus would be useful here, but I think I have a better chance with my Metagross here. So I'll just switch out. Um, and I'll also go for a Moonblast on the Whimscat to break the Sash. They would have to double into mine here to get the KO. So I'll end the Dynamax early. Just to ensure this thing doesn't snowball and KO my entire team. There's their Moonblast into my Whimsicott. Hopefully they didn't double. That'd be a huge issue. As they Meteor Beam. Okay, that's definitely into Metagross. And we tank it. <laughs> and it's pretty likely they don't really have anything else to hit me. Nice. We get really good damage off there since that special defense drop earlier. And what I'll do here is I'll just go ahead and knock out the Whimsicott and Tailwind up. Because that'll make it so I'm faster for the rest of the game pretty much. As they withdraw the Whimsicott, that's fine. Reggie Lucky comes out. Yeah, go protects, that's fine. Nice. Get the tailwind up. And there should be ending really soon. Get a solid chunk of damage despite the resist since it's Regieleki. And I kinda wanna just delete Regieleki right now, but I don't know if it's possible. I'll protect here. And I could go Landorus, actually. We'll go Landorus. <laughs> Assault Vest Lander should wall this thing since it's forced to click Sludge Bomb into my uh, into my Assault Vest Lando. There's the Protect. As it Electro Balls. Okay, so it looks like it's just straight up offensive. As a Sludge Bomb trying to pick up a KO. Doesn't do too much. No Poison. And I should now be faster than their whole team. I'll go ahead and I'll get in the Thunders. Well, I guess it actually depends on the Landorus' EV spread. But it's pretty likely I'm faster. We'll go ahead and just go for the Earthquake here and switch in Thunderous. If the Regieleki's faster and it tries to KO my Metagross, I'll be fine because Thunderous will just get healed. <laughs> There's the Protect from the Nihiligo. I kind of hope he goes before me. Oh, wait, what am I saying? Earthquake already went off. <laughs> Alright. And I still have a turn of Tailwind. The Earthquake should be free to pick up a double Gao here. I think they would have to... Even with, like, Fake Tears plus Crit Sludge Bomb, I don't think they can KO Landorus. So what I'll do here is I'll just double into Nihiligo. Or maybe I'll just... Just in case it doesn't KO. Uh, we'll go ahead and click just Earthquake here. There's the Tailwind. And Meteor Beam is a two-turn move, so if they clicked it, then, you know. <laughs> There's Power Gem. That shouldn't KO me. Yeah, Assault Vest. Awesome. So it's interesting they're carrying both. And this will pick up the KO here. Nice. We start off the session with a 4-0, which is always great. Okay. And we'll continue battling here. I wish they would reward you BP for each win. Like, even if it was, like, 5 BP. 
Like, that's that's good BP, you know? Or maybe 10, since you're fighting real people. But no, it's just items. Whatever. <laughs> Ming, rank 2,962. Ooh, okay. So, non-trick room glacier... Oh, wait, does anything here get speed swap? I don't think... I, I hope that, um... What's it called? I hope that that dragon type doesn't get speed swap. I forgot its name. Naganadel. Let me double check. Because I know nothing else in their team does. I have a, about a minute here. Speed swap. It does not. Okay. We're good. We are Gucci. Um, that means I should be able to... Hmm. I think here... This is actually very scary. I think I want to go Articuno on lead. It covers a couple of things. It also should take on Naga Nadal pretty easily. I'll also go ahead and bring Metagross on lead. Um, I think my Tapu Fini is pretty important here once the Naga Nadal is down in my last Pokemon. I could go Lando. But I think I get away with Thunderous a little bit more. So we're just going straight up offensive here. Okay, and what do they lead off with? Uh, Naganadel and this guy, <laughs> Inteleon. I'm pretty cool with my lead here. I want to try to figure out, do they have... I, I don't want a Trick Room because they might have Glacier, but I guess I could always just go back on my play. Maybe I could just Dynamax Freezing Glare and get away with that. What if they're so Inteleon? Oh god. I'll try to Trick Room here. And uh, I'll just Protect. I think I'm going to have to Dynamax Metagross anyway, so we'll try to get the Trick Room off. I don't even know if Naganadel stays in. As they Dynamax, that's probably Naganadel. Yep. Whatever it goes for, I, I just hope I live it. Ice Shard, okay. So it's weakness policy. Um, hopefully he just went for Max Flare into my Metagross, because anything else and I'm in huge trouble. I I did not even know it got that. As it Max Lightnings, okay. Uh, I think we lose. I think we lose. As it gets a beast boost, is that speed or special attack? Yep, special attack. Okay, um, I can go Thunderous here, I suppose. Uh, I just have to try to Dynamax and KO this thing. I think I just lose, though, to be honest. Okay, and I'll also go into the Tapu Fini here to lower the damage from a possible Max Lightning if they want to go for it again. And I should Max Quake into the Ganadel. And the reason I'm doing this is because I, you know, I don't think they're going to Max Lightning the... <laughs> I don't think they'll be going for a Max Lightning into my Thunderous since it's immune. That'd be a huge misplay. So it makes the Tapu Fini play a little bit easier. Since I would just protect Thunderous anyways on this turn. I know this guy gets Flamethrower too. Uh, I'm hoping they're not carrying it. I'm hoping they're carrying Hurricane, Double Stab plus Max Lightning, and not a Fire move. Because if it's a Fire move, oh my god, am I in trouble. Ooh. 
There's the Soak into Tapu Fini. Uh, I'll take that, because now I'm not weak to poison. Wait, what are you doing? He... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, do you not know my ability? Alright, that was a massive misplay and they got rewarded by it, because even though... Even though I wasn't weak to electric, I was still immune to it. So regardless of changing my typing, that would that was a huge misplay. And they got rewarded for it. We max Quake here. Uh, maybe I'll one-shot. Probably not. Okay, not quite. Well, that's disappointing. My play here is always to bank on them just doing that again. And max guarding. That was That was a massive misplay. Okay, uh, so I suppose we just go for a Dark Pulse here into Naganadel and Protect. We'll Max Guard here, anticipating them to want to just go for that again. Yeah, I, I was so confused by that. I was like, why are you doing this? Alright, there's the soak. It looks like they went for the combo. They max ooze, which... Okay. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we lose, unfortunately, due to that. <laughs> I will go ahead and forfeit here. I I am I am very salty about that. Just so you know, I am I am actually quite salty about that play. All right, yeah, we'll quit here. Because <laughs> there was absolutely no reason to go for a max lightning into thunderous in any situation. Alright. Let me look at this. Yeah, they didn't even have a dragon move, which is interesting. Okay. <laughs> I that is that is just disappointing. <laughs> Let's continue battling. Get one more. We usually do three. Okay, who are we facing? Rank 1753. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. Uh, just Tailwind Hyper Offense, probably expanding for spam from the Tapu, not from the Tapu, from the uh, Indeedy. Um, I feel pretty comfortable leading off with my... I think with my Whimsicott, since my Tailwind will go first. It makes it pretty impossible for him to taunt me. I think Whimsicott Metagross isn't bad as long as I can play around that, uh... As long as I can play around the Urshifu effectively. So we'll do Whimsicott, Metagross, Tapu Fini. And I think my last Pokemon has to be the uh, Landris here. Okay. Leaded off in a Hiligo plus Thunder or Thunderous, uh, Tornadus, that's its name. We just got Metagross. Um, I like my lead a lot. My lead's pretty good. They may even just try to Trick Room on me right here, which I'll play into. I'll play into that. Let's go ahead and get in Landorus here. And we'll go for the um, Iron Head here since it's safer than Stomping Tantrum.
you know, in case they want to switch out into a flying type. Do they even have a flying type? Should I should I have just stopping tantrum? Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm very dumb. <laughs> As he protects, that's fine. There's the Tailwind. Hmm. Oh, what am I saying? Their flying type was thunderous. It's on the field. Um, let me see. I mean, I can eat any hit right now. I don't think they would stay in with the uh, Nihiligo. What I might do here is just Rock Slide and Ice Punch into the uh, Tornadus. Because I, I think they have to switch out with Nihiligo here. I don't see it staying in. There's the Icy Wind. Ooh. I mean, I'm a Salt Vest, so I'll live. You know, I don't appreciate it, but I'll live. If this guy Meteor Beams me to KO my best check to his Pokemon, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so um I have to Dynamax this guy next turn. We lose the Landers, he's now at plus two special attack, which is extremely threatening. Alright, uh, here I can get in my Whimsicott since it's Focus Sash. It shouldn't go down to anything. And I would enjoy having the speed advantage for the remainder of the game, so I'll Tailwind up here. How many, how many turns of Tailwind do they have left? Two turns. Okay, so what I can do here is I can Tailwind up. And I do have Protect on the Finny. And I anticipate them not to... Um, I don't think they're gonna Dynamax this, this uh, what's it called, this Nihiligo here, since it's in huge threat. It's it's in huge uh, danger of getting killed by Metagross. So I'll max Steel Spike into the Tornadus. Yeah, they don't Dynamax. As he taunts me. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. There's the sludge bomb. I'll survive, fortunately. But it's uh it's not looking good for me now. Oh no. Okay, well, there goes my tailwind option in case I wanted to switch out. I honestly didn't think they would stay in with there they wouldn't uh, I, I didn't think they would not like What what am I trying to say? I thought they might just protect the Nihiligo here. Because it didn't make sense to, like, Dynamax it or anything. But it also didn't make sense to just let it go down. Uh, I suppose they could just have an Urshifu in the back. But now that I don't have Tailwind, it's extremely unlikely that I'll win. Since Urshifu puts on so much pressure. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, and Choice Band Wicked Blow is gonna just cut through my Steel Spike defenses, so I'll protect here. I'll attempt to uh, KO this thing. Or I guess I could just Steel Spike. Yeah, I definitely played this one pretty bad. In retrospect, there was no way they could have Trick Roomed on me. So that was a very dumb play of me. There's the Wicked Blow as a Choice Banded. It doesn't look like it, but it's still very scary. Especially since I can't protect next turn. Get my Weakness Policy.
We'll finally KO this thing. I should have just dealt with this earlier. I just didn't expect them to stay in with it. I mean, I have a full health plus one Tapu Fini now. It's sort of dependent on what's in the back if I can win. If Tapu Fini beats it, we're good. But if not... Oh, that's actually doable. Especially since... Oh, wait. My, my Dynamax isn't over yet. Okay, let's uh, Moonblast into you. And we'll Max Guard. I don't know why I thought I had less turns of Dynamax. <laughs> we have plus one defense, so... This might be doable. This uh, Mammoth Swine might say otherwise, though. It depends on the set, really. I max guard here. Let's see if they called it. Nope. There's the max quake. Probably into my finny. Yep. Now, I would assume they're choice banded, judging by the damage they did. I hope they're not focus sash. Because <laughs> I'm assuming the sash is on the tornadoes. And they don't survive that, yeah. So, they're not sash. And I'm actually not in a terrible position, because I could just go for, like, muddy water and plus two iron head, and that would KO this thing, I think. This is really close, though. Go for the Muddy Water. Go for the plus two Iron Head. They should KO the Metagross every time here. And they're likely faster than me. Yep. And now, I haven't gone down to my berry yet, so my best play this next turn would be to Protect. I might be able to do this, but it's, it's getting really close considering how many special defense boosts he's got. I land my Muddy Water. If I get an accuracy drop, I'm not in the worst position. Alright, nice. So this is this is now doable. I might be able to cheese my way out of this one. <laughs> I definitely don't deserve this one, by the way. 100% do not deserve. Hopefully this will knock me into my berry range. But not much further than that. Let's go for the quake. Okay, nice. Oh wait, are we not Barry? I could have sworn we were Barry. Or did that already go off? Am I dumb? Oh, we're Wiki Barry. Okay. I think we can still get into that range then. I thought we were Citrus Barry for some reason. High horsepower, don't crit me. Okay. Wiki Barry should go off here. It's a good amount of health. Land our muddy water. Accuracy drop. I think we need one. Hey. <laughs> High horsepower already only has 95 accuracy, so this is this is getting a little bit closer. Might be able to cheese this out. How much PP does High Horsepower have? I almost want to protect every other turn. Okay, he lands it. I'm gonna need you to not land the next one. It's, it's down to one more. Protect for good luck. <laughs> oh, this is so close. I do not deserve to win this one. I will, I will give my opponent that. If I manage to cheese this out. Come on, Tapu Fini. Just dodge one. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, I did not deserve that. I feel bad. <laughs> Especially how bad I played that game. Oh my god. Uh, I would have to... I, Dude, honestly, I have to apologize to you guys. I played that so poorly. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it. I, I get rewarded for bad play. That's what Pokemon does sometimes. Uh, but with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, have a nice night. See you guys in the next video. Bye.